uh, Mr. Kadota, Simon's, Simon's new friend. But Simon yeah, is afraid Kodo to turn Kodo his voice a, on. Kodota is a programmer. <laughs> yeah, this it's is an the AI programmer that's going to teach Simon to code even better. Right? What does it do? Uh, it's an autocompleter. But it's not just an autocompleter. It's an autocompleter for whole blocks of code. It, <laughs> for whole blocks of code. And th does it do well? Or do you see that it doesn't really match what you want to write? Is it doing well? Is it yeah, predicting it's, code well? It's pr predicting it from different APIs, uh, like Stack Overflow and, uh, you know, GitHub. It... But is it good? Do you like it? Yeah, I really, really like it. You really, really like it. And look, look, and it, you, look, I, look, wait, if I come over here in my text editor, like, if, if we... If we hover over an integer. No, no. If we hover over. It must be an object. I don't know. If we hover over dimension, for example. You see? It just switched over to dimension. <laughs> so it's recognizing what you're working on. What? And For example, if, and also uh, G frame, you know. I use graphics to D. But it's only working currently it's it's only the developers of this of this Kodota guy. They're only, they've only made them for Java. But new languages will follow soon. Yeah. Their website says. So now you can only use it in Eclipse. You can't use it in processing. Uh you can't yeah. and also they're limited software. Yeah. Uh they're you can use it in IntelliJ? Yeah. Uh, you can use it in Eclipse. And finally, you can use it in Android Studio. Yeah, so, I'm so we're using Eclipse. Mm -hmm. But maybe very soon, they'll also have it for JavaScript. I'm sure they will. Maybe.